Hello, I am Dr. Vasan. I am a uroandrologist uh, practicing at Manipal Hospitals, Bangalore. When we say male infertility, we have to presume that there is a subnormal production of the sperm either in terms of numbers or in terms of movement or in terms of shape or there could be an abnormality in the internal genetic material which is the DNA. So why does this abnormality happen? If you look at it from a medical point of view, the testis which is housed outside the body produces the sperm. There is a communication between the brain and the testis which makes the testis produce the sperm which we call as the hormonal link and then after the production through minute tubes the production is pumped out of the testis through the urinary passage when we ejaculate and it is stored in the seminal vesicle before ejaculation. So consequently if there is an abnormality in the production site that is the testis I need to check the hormonal link I need to check whether the production site has adequate blood supply and whether it has been developed properly and I need to check the tubular mechanism which carries this output from the testis for any abnormality. So the tests are designed to check the hormonal levels, the checks are designed to de detect the testicular dysfunction or malfunction by an ultrasound, the hormonal tests are usually blood tests. And then you have other mechanisms either by physical examination or by a specialized test to detect whether the storage and ejaculatory mechanisms are dysfunctional. If we do that, we will know where the problem site is and it can be then addressed to according to the needs or the problem of that given individual.